Hello my name is Mal and today, you know, I'm going to react to a sporting winner ball 4.0 versus Package Thieves. Okay. This guy stole a package from my car. This guy stole a package from my car. And a different guy stole my package from a port. And a different one stole his package from a port. And he's about to open it in his car. Hello. Hello. Why is he still... Like the way Kevin works. Twitter. But what he doesn't realize is this is the fourth generation of fourth generation new and improved custom new improved custom build bait package that is bait package that is recording recording him on four phones recording him on four phones and just release a pound of the world's finest and release a pound of the world's finest glitter finest glitter and he's about to discover the other five new another five new surprises, surprises for this year. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I don't know what you're thinking. Isn't it a bit excessive to spend the last four years of your life trying to engineer the perfect revenge for porch pirates just because someone stole your package a few years ago and the police wouldn't do anything about mm -hmm. it? And to that I say no. And I'm like, no. I thought, if that happened to me, I want to also say no. But, I don't, uh, but I'm not good at engineering yet. Keep doing it every Christmas until we can make a dent in the two million packages that are stolen from porches every year. Plus, it's become such a delightful engineering challenge for me to try and think of all the different ways that we can upgrade each year. And so with that, this is Glitter Bomb 4.0. 4.0. And that is the first of five major upgrades this year. The lid shoots off as soon as the package thief tries to open it. Our original design to pull this off was a flywheel that spun up at irresponsibly dangerous speeds. Then we lowered these wheels to make contact with the flywheel and they shared an axle with the gear, which then used a rack and pinion to launch the lid. But that was just way too over-engineered, even for my lofty over-engineering standards. So that's when we pivoted to a pneumatic system, but space is limited in the box. So we had to custom design these aluminum pressure and tanks with a little help from my friends at Proto Labs. They hooked me up and made six of these in like two days, which is why they're mine and your best friend for quick turnaround machine parts like this. So the tank is filled with air pressurized to 80 PSI and it's nestled here in the base. And then with the top half on, I like those like miniature boxing gloves or something. This Hall effect sensor right here can sense a magnet attached to the lid. So when the lid is lifted, it triggers the air to rush into the pistons and the boxing gloves do the rest. And the second major improvement is this car horn. Cause that just feels like it's gonna make things more exciting for everyone. So when the lid first pops off, it actually sounds a little bit more like that. Then the third upgrade is the design of the glitter cup itself. This year, instead of an open cup like this that spins all the glitter out in one shot, we have a two-chambered cup like this, which means we get to fire the glitter three separate times. So the way it works is you pour glitter in the top chamber here and it fills up both chambers. And when the cup spins, the glitter in the lower chamber flies up and out the sides, but the glitter in the upper chamber is trapped due to the centrifugal force. Then when the cup stops spinning, gravity basically loads the next batch of glitter in the lower chamber for us. And so now, of course, it's ready to fly out on the next mm -hmm. spin and so on. This totally passive solution means we get to save one of our three glitter fires this year for when we get to the end of the out loud countdown sequence. Now, of course, you'll still see the standard four phones here that record the thief in all directions and upload the footage to the cloud, as well as these four canisters filled with 20% more fart spray of legitimately the worst smell you could possibly imagine, as demonstrated by the time I almost killed Macaulay Culkin himself. I can still smell it. The fourth upgrade is we have a dedicated onboard microphone to record continuous audio once the package is stolen. And the fifth is this outer casing is now made from this opaque machined acrylic. That means the entire glitter bomb now glows much brighter to light up the scene if it's open in the dark. And it just looks really dope when the whole box pulses red and blue as we play the fake police scanner chatter a few minutes after being open. Yeah, to I further like encourage the thief to get rid of the box so we can recover it. And then the final upgrade for this year isn't actually on the glitter bomb itself. Last year we developed these doormats that would covertly charge the box on these contacts so it would be at full battery whenever it got stolen. That was fantastic, but a lot of boxes were being taken at night, which was leading to footage that just wasn't that great. So to solve for that this year, we designed these planner boxes and when the sun goes down, the side raises up and they autonomously slide over to swallow up the glitter bomb, concealing it from any any would-be thieves in the night without the homeowner needing to hassle with bringing it in and out every day. 
Then of course in the morning, the process reverses and the box is ready to go. So now when the bad guy comes sneaking by in the day and steals it off the porch, the batteries are all at 100% charge and the box knows it's no longer on the mat so it starts recording and uploading footage to the cloud in addition to texting us that it's been stolen and sending GPS location updates. And so if you compare Glitter Bomb 1.0 through 4.0, you can really see the design evolution. Oh, at least it's much bigger. And while my lawyers have already made it very clear that I am not allowed to sell this, if I did, it might look something like this. Glitter Bomb 4.0 is our most advanced Glitter Bomb ever. <laughs> Beautiful. Complex, Rough. yet simple. Mm. A sleek and porch-informed design now includes a car horn from a Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla. And 20% more fart spray. A completely redesigned multi-spray glitter cup with a pound of our finest biodegradable glitter means your porch pirate will remember this moment for a very long time, but especially in direct sunlight. Oh, and there is one more thing. Introducing the world's first self-launching lid. Nice. Yeah, I like Glitter that. bomb. 4.0 Because sometimes revenge is a dish best served fabulously. So there it is, and while you can't buy Glitter Bomb 4.0, if you want to support more efforts like this, you can rock this stylish wireframe Glitter Bomb hoodie here, or we've also got this cool retro pop art version for 4.0 with the boxing gloves, available of course only at markrover.com. And so now all that was left to do was to put it out on porches all across America and wait. And we didn't have to wait long. Another dude to steal it? Mm-hmm. Normal. Okay. Oh, not yet. <coughs> Wait a sec. Is that who I think it is? And sure enough, Fort Nuts had run out of walnuts, so instead of trying to make an honest squirrel's living, Fat Gus had apparently turned to a life of crime. And speaking of which, I'd like to quickly point out that whether squirrels are stealing your bird seeds so you build them an obstacle course, or humans are stealing your packages so you go full home alone, the beauty about being an engineer is you can come up with clever solutions for your real life challenges. It's like a superpower, but a superpower you can learn. And I'd love to see other people catch that spark, which is why a few times a year, I teach a month long creative engineering course and enrollment for the new year session is open starting right now. Over the course of a month, you're gonna watch me design and create three builds from scratch. But the best part is I'm gonna guide you through finishing three creative builds of your own. So whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced engineer, the class has been designed to meet you wherever you're at and level up your skills. So go to monthly.com slash Mark Rover where the link in the video description, then go sign up as a New Year's yeah, resolution. It's just a normal day. Oh, next day.